guys, it's Sarah. Yes, I'm back from college just for the weekend. By the way, this is not my house. I know that sounds really creepy. Um, but this is actually my neighbor's house because she asked me to walk her dog. There's Sawyer. Hi, Sawyer. He's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but anyway, it's totally legal that I'm here, so please don't call the cops. Now, here's the latest news that's been happening in the past few days. So basically what I've been gathering is that so much stuff is supposed to happen soon. This person said, be prepared. Okay, on February 24th is when the Brit Awards are. 024 is going, Little Mix is going, Naughty Boy is going, Zayn and Gigi are going, and Zayn will be around his girlfriend, his boyfriend, Liam, his ex-fiance, her band who hate him, his ex-band, his ex-best friend, Louis and Naughty Boy. One Direction and Naughty Boy are up for the same award, Naughty Boy and Louis, and Little Mix are performing Secret Love Song. Zayn will be fucking there, not saying it's about him, but after like three years it will be awkward as fuck. They'll sing it in front of Larry and the lyrics relate to a hidden relationship and probably denial rumors because Louis will be due to pay his first month of child support, but he won't want to pay it unless he knows the child is his. Freddy equals 21st January, Brits equals 24th of February. Our fandom is the best, like we're like detectives or something because we just know all these dates down pat. The other day, why we believe in Larry was trending on Twitter. And of course I missed it because I would have had so many posts because obviously I had so many reasons why I believe in Larry. Oh, and this was funny. Jealous Louis strikes again. This person posted this Zane with this Harry. Like basically they were shipping Harry with Zane. And then they said, Louis fucking blocked me. And there was a lot of evidence of this. Like people saw it. Like what's the coincidence? Right after this person posts a Zary post, like Zane and Harry, like saying that they look cute together, Louis blocks that person. Like I didn't know Louis was that jealous. The other day Harry tweeted preaching to the convinced. It says he posted this after someone tweeted him to post something about the baby and he posted this making it seem he's trying to tell people that the baby is fake. This person said someone tweeted him saying that Larry was real and he replied to it, deleting the at. Hi Sawyer! Hi! There he goes. This person says, guys, I swear, Harry didn't reply to her. It was a glitch. She was the one that replied to him. This person says, and notifications don't work for Harry's tweets since yesterday his Instagram pic had 3,000 retweets, only since no one got a notification. Another person said, so I use Twitter quite a bit. You can reply to a tweet, but delete the at sign. I do it all the time. It strings the tweets together and pulls them both to people's timelines. This is the only thing that makes sense since no one got a notification. You get notifications for primary tweets, quote tweets, and retweets, not for replies. This was a reply. So some people are saying that this girl wrote Larry's Real after Harry tweeted that, but some people say Harry actually replied to the Larry's Real tweet. And here's another girl saying that she didn't get the notification and no one did. I mean, his tweet still seems pretty suspicious. Like, Harry always tweets deep stuff. Like, whenever Harry tweets, it's always, like, for a reason. I feel like there's always, like, a double meaning, even if people don't believe that there is. But if he did reply to the Larry's Real tweet and he said preaching to the convinced, he's basically saying, like, girl, you don't even need to write Larry is real because you're preaching to people who are already convinced. So he's basically saying that I'm already convinced that Larry is real. Everybody is, so stop preaching. There's this banner and it says, be part of At One Direction's history once again. Save the date, March 5th, 2016. This person said, not sure that Ivory Music is a part of Sony in the Philippines, but note that the logos on the bottom are Sony Music, Ivory Music, 1D, and something else that I can't see. But no modest and more notably, no Psycho logo. So I don't know if this is proof that One Direction are no longer part of Psycho or Modest, but apparently on this logo that someone saw, they noticed that there was no Modest logo or Psycho logo. So maybe this is proof that One Direction aren't a part of that management company or record company anymore. And there's been recent pictures of Harry and Louis recently. I think Harry was in an antique shop and Louis was in Best Buy. Now I don't know if Louis and Harry are in close distance with each other. I don't know if they're like in similar locations. But seriously, we got Harry and Louis selfies two days days in a row. And last but certainly not least, the RBB account is deleted. Now I don't understand why it's deleted. Some people are saying that this is it. This means that One Direction or Larry aren't going to be hiding anymore. They only use the account to prove stuff or like to show us that there's going to be a stunt. But now there's no longer going to be stunts so they just deleted the account. Or who knows, maybe someone hacked it. If you go to the RBB account it says there's no more tweets or this account no longer exists. And it's really weird because there's this person who said someone told me yesterday 
yesterday that the RBB Twitter would be gone soon and it was just deleted. What the fuck? So this anonymous person said, I hate to be this anon, but here we go. I really want people to start taking screenshots of the RBB SBB Twitter account because it will be gone very, very soon. Please spread the word. And then this person didn't believe her and said, aw, here's the daily anon who is probably full of shit and ready to ruin people's day based on zero accurate information. No thanks. But it looks like this person was right. After this anon said that, the RBB account got deleted. So it's either this person was the one who deleted the account or they're a part of the RBB account. Like maybe this is a person who is in relations with Louie and Harry. Cause how would they know? This person basically had the same thoughts as I did. They said, guys, calm down. RBB was here to give us hints about stunts and warn us and it's all coming to an end. I think it's way more of a good thing than it is a bad thing. And I kind of agree with this. Like even though we love the RBB account and we love getting updates from them, I think the only reason why RBB ever did tweet or did updates on their accounts was to warn us about stunts and to warn us about bad things coming up. And now, since the RBB account doesn't exist or they deleted all their tweets, I almost think it's a good thing. I actually agree with this girl because I think by deleting their account, they're now saying that, guys, there's not gonna be any more stunts, there's not gonna be any more shadiness. So they're basically saying there's no need to have this RBB account. There's no reason to hide behind two bears anymore because now we can be free. Because remember RBB's recent post Remember there was like no mustache, there was no angry eyebrows, there was no costumes, it was basically just a rainbow bear. Basically they had all that stuff off, they weren't hiding behind anything. Like everything on that account happens for a reason. So I think this is a very accurate theory. The RBB account is deleted, I think something is going to happen. I think this means that all stunting's done, all bullshit's done, Louie and Harry don't have to hide behind two bears anymore, they're probably going to like come out, something good's just gonna happen. Like I don't wanna get anybody's hopes up, like don't get mad at me if like they, nothing good happens. I'm just saying that there's a reason why this account got deleted. And if Louie and Harry didn't delete the account, then maybe it just got hacked or something. I have no idea. But basically I just found this out when I came home. So yeah, if I missed anything, leave it below. And like always, I post whenever I want. So like and subscribe. All my social media is in the description. And I'll talk about more information in the next video. So see you guys later, bye.